Hey, good morning, my Buddha's Lama. Hey, everybody, how you doing? This is Bud Brown. Thanks for coming to my channel. I put up a <coughs> video yesterday about giving away stuff. It was only 10 bags. But, you know, we have to pace ourselves. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to say that I know some may be thinking, gee, why did you give, uh, why did you give the, that school supplies to the uh, employees, people that were working, for the most part? And, uh, you know, couldn't they afford it themselves? Well, the answer is no. <laughs> It seems like they, well, I can't say no, who knows, but I guess the point is this. Uh, if somebody were, and people have, given me a pair of tennis shoes, all right, I just love it. Am I going to say, oh, I'm sorry, I could afford this myself. <laughs> Why are you giving it to me? I could afford it. Come on now. So... Uh, I give, let me start, let me back up a little bit. This channel, as you know, if you've seen a few of my videos, is my daily life here in uh, Dumaguete City, Philippines. And I have certain routines. I go out in the mornings, have coffee. Study on my laptop. and uh, go back, pick up glory, and go home, and that's about it. And usually coming here to the restaurant or going back home, there's usually something that's kind of exciting. But anyway, this is my routine. And so uh, when I give away stuff, it's uh, normally the people in my routine. I mean, these uh, restaurants that I go to, uh, we give the employees uh, school supplies because I know that they uh, they could afford it but many times uh, it's a matter of well shall we buy notebooks pencils paper school supplies or shall we eat this week <laughs> believe me that's the way it is a lot of times they don't get paid that much and they're working hard and uh, the Parking attendants, we give something. The uh, guards, you know, they're all working for just minimal, minimal. I'm talking, well, what, between 200, between four and seven dollars a day. So come on, uh, what difference does it make if they could afford it or not? That's just what I, my thinking is. If I run, run on to people that are, uh, don't, are not working, and they're in pretty uh, sad straits, then of course, if I feel like uh, helping, which many times I do, then I do. So, uh, that hopefully that will answer the questions of uh, why many times I'm giving. <laughs> That's Gloria. She let me know she made it okay. Hi, honey. I'm here. Where are you? I'm here at uh, Florentina Homes. Oh. Okay. Um, I know more. Oh, pamaha mo. No. <laughs> All right, love. Okay. Have a good morning. Very good. Sige. Bye. Uh, so, anyway, I'm, uh, I have a, li a few more bags of uh, just three or four more bags of uh, school supplies. 
it's not, you know, it's like, well, I don't want to say cheap thrills, but it doesn't take much to help, you know, pencils, erasers, notebook. So, uh, and even this one fellow that, uh, that he has, his boys are only three or four years old. He can still use the crayons, the paper, you know, all this stuff. So I'm happy to hand it out and I let him know that it's not from me personally, it's not out of my wallet, but it's, it's from the people, the kindness and uh, generosity of the people that have sent me these things. So anyway, rambling, rambling man. <laughs> Hope you all have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.